hello, hello. What is up? What's happening? What is going on? I saw the new guy outside. Elgin. Yeah. He's, uh, I think he's having a rough time. Maybe I could talk to him. Really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. It was nice having people do it for me. Hey, you're Elgin, right? Yeah. Julie? Yeah. Look, I know you probably have tons of people telling you they're here if you want to talk. But I'm around. Hey, you only live once. K Sara Sara. What's going on? I thought you I want to go home. Okay, well. Jeff, what are you doing, honey? You should be resting. I need to talk. Okay. Over here. Pick, pick more. Pick more. Yeah. Jesus. And I just kept asking myself, why? Why did that road lead us here? What the fuck is the point of all of this? Did you know Christie's fiance was on that bus? What? Yeah. And what you said about the wires not being connected, that's not possible. No, I'm telling you. I know, it's not that. I know. It. I believe you. There is no... When we build a new roller coaster, we design it to do things that seem impossible. Because the more impossible it seems, the stronger reaction you get from the people riding it. I know how this sounds, but what if? The little conversations they're having with each other where they're theorizing, I believe their theories are exposition dumps, many exposition dumps. What if all this was designed just to see how we react? Mm -hmm. I mean, what if this is all some kind of fucked up experiment? Mm -hmm. The radio worked. No. We made contact with someone. So th why is everybody just standing? Because they don't know. Right as the storm was coming in, just as we were about to wrap things up, I heard a voice. A man. That's why he came running back here. He, he warned me, Tabitha. Or threatened me, I don't know which. But he knew my name. And he said, you shouldn't be digging. And then just like that, our house collapsed. You think someone's watching us? All I know is... Ugh. All I know is, someone got on the other end of that radio and they talked to me. Mm -hmm. Did anyone else hear it? The voice on the radio? Did your move, Boyd? I gotta say, your options don't look great. This ain't real. You're not here. You want to talk about what can and can't be real? That's the part you want to focus on? I don't know. I got a little mystery boy sending people through magic trees in the forest. My hand's not shaking anymore, but now I got fucking worms underneath my skin. So yeah, yeah, maybe that's the part we should talk about. Or, how about we talk about what's really on your mind? How exactly are you going to tell Kenny that Sarah killed his dad? She didn't kill him. She opened the door, potato, potato. Then Kenny's going to be interested in the minutia of exactly what happened. Let me ask you something. What benefit is there in Kenny knowing that you lied to him, you betrayed him? I didn't. You found out the truth about how his father died. You not only spared the life of the person responsible, you gave her your trust, your friendship. All of this was your fucking idea. Oh, come on, Boyd. Really? It's poor form to blame the dead. You'll understand. 
I did what I had to do. She was valuable. She, she may still be valuable. Oh, yeah. She may very well be of value. Which is why you need to keep your fucking mouth shut. I mean, of what value is the truth to Kenny right now? What, do you think he's going to be better off once he finds out? Or will you simply be relieving the burden of your own guilt? Somehow you being dead made you more of an asshole. Leaders sometimes have to make tough decisions. Boyd, you of all people know this, but you want to be everyone's friend? Go be the new bartender. Apparently there's a vacancy. But if you want to lead these people home, sometimes you have to make a shitty decision. I tried telling you this before you didn't listen. Listen to me now. I'm not gonna lie to you. What was that thing Ella said? About that thing that everyone holds on to? That's what you are to Kenny now. You're the father that Kenny no longer has. What do you think happens when you take that away? Broken people don't survive here, Lord. Father Katri, the powers that be, they're able to send this hallucination to Boyd to give him this suggestion not to say anything, to see what he's going to do. Boyd already has not told the boy, but I think he was planning on doing it. Powers that be don't want him to do it, and they're somewhat manipulating Sarah to go ahead and do it so that there's a rift between the leader and the second in command. It's a whole manipulation thing. He picked up a captured chess piece that had blood on it and was handing it to Boyd. I think this is symbolic. The priest letting Boyd know that you're already captured and there's nothing you could do about being captured. You might as well make the best out of a captured situation. K sera sera. It's not a good time, Jim. You know why I'm here. To thank me for looking after your kids when you ran off like an asshole? We need to talk about how we're gonna handle this. Handle what? You heard the voice on the radio. I know you did. Get the fuck in here. I'm gonna put this as delicately as possible. How fucking stupid are you? What? You wanna know if I heard something? Yeah, I heard it. I heard some spooky motherfucker warn you about your wife 20 minutes before your house collapsed. That means that there are people out there who can see us. And what part of you thinks that that's a good sign? Happened here after you ran off. The fucking lights exploded. Mm. One of my people almost went blind. Mm. If there really are people watching us, they sure as shit aren't helping us. Yep, yep, yep. And just like Martin was saying, the darkness in the forest, I believe that this whole thing is being ran by humans. And they're using technology for this experiment. The talisman is technology. The lights, radio in the diner, exit sign, all of it is ran by technology where the humans are the energy, the creatures and how they reproduce and how they're able to shape shift when, when attacking. I believe that too was engineered because this show, it's a, according to Wikipedia, I know it's not reliable, but according to Wikipedia, this is a science fiction horror show with science fiction being first as far as an emphasis and the premise of this is a nightmarish town in middle america that traps everyone who enters unwilling residents strive to stay alive and search for a way out but they are plagued by the terrifying nocturnal creatures from the surrounding forest and secrets hidden in the town that's the premise this whole thing is more than likely a mousetrap 
where those humans are the mice, there's different things being thrown at them to see how they'll react and how they'll survive. Imagine you create a bunch of these trap towns or you make one trap town. People are coming in while driving. They go to the town and they're unable to escape. And you've perfected it by using lab rats. You're taking them from reality, putting them somewhere and letting them be deleted by nocturnal creatures that adapt to everything the humans do and find. At first, they were howling. The talismans were found and put up on, and, and structures and houses. Now the nocturnal creatures are using words. They're being manipulative, wearing clothes. So the creatures adapt as the humans find a way to have offense or defense. It's almost like the perfect weapon. What do you think they'll do if they find out we know about them? Huh? And that's assuming it was actually a person on the other end of the line. Mm-hmm. There are things around here that walk and talk just like us until they walk up to you and rip your fucking guts out. Indeed. How do you know it wasn't one of them? Uh, I am not saying ignore it. You already got people's hopes up with your goddamn tap. All the more reason that we keep our fucking mouths shut until we know more. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, hit the notification bell, share to all your social media. Come back. Let's get obsessed together. I look forward to doing more from videos, especially if the engagement's there. Thumb it up. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Go forth. Do great things. And I'm out.